been watching some anime recently, like Attack on Titan with Boruto and Sword Art Online, Elicization, and some of the shows that I never remember out of the top of my head. Then suddenly something pop in my head. What could be the most loved sports genre anime that fans loved about? Hey everyone, this is Trending Ticket, which presents you the best and exciting sports anime this day and age. We got them ranked. We are excited to show you what the number one is. Be sure to like and follow all our content for upcoming amazing content. Let's go and find out. Number 10. Prince of Tennis The protagonist in The Prince of Tennis is already an amazing player when the show starts. Echizen Ryoma is a young tennis prodigy who has won four consecutive tennis championships but who constantly lies in the shadow of his father, a former pro tennis player. He joins the Seishin Gakuen Junior High School, one of the best tennis schools in Japan, and there along with his teammates, he learns to find his type of tennis in an attempt to defeat his biggest obstacle of all, his father as well as himself. As he plays the players, he soon will become Segigaku's pillar of support with the help of his teammates, and along with his teammates, will he become stronger. Despite his talent though, he still cannot defeat his father. That's right, there are daddy issues. He joins a tennis team and spends the series trying to get good enough to beat his dad. Number 9. Yuri on Ice Yuri on Ice is a pretty special anime on several levels. It covers homosexuality in a very different way than the yaoi genre, and received a ton of praise for its refreshing depiction. Japanese figure skater Yuri Katsuki faces a crushing defeat during the Grand Prix Finals and heads home, unsure of whether or not he wishes to continue his skating career. After a video of Yuri mimicking Russian figure skater Viktor Nikiforov's routine goes viral, Viktor decided to become Yuri's coach, much to the dismay of his coach, his fans, and his fellow Russian skater Yuri Plasitsky. The animation was stellar and it's easy to want to re-watch the whole show just for the skating scenes. Not only did the animation bring the sport to life, but it shows the personality of the characters. The main character Yuri is a bit of a dork and awkward off the skating rink. Once he is on the rink though, he turns into a confident and serious person and you cannot blame Victor for falling in love with him. With all that say for this show, it is no wonder it got such a huge online following when it came out in 2016. Number 8. Hajime no Ippo The manga for this has been ongoing since 1989. It got 76 episodes from 2002 to 2004, a movie, 26 episodes in 2009, and 25 more from 2013 to 2014. It is an anime that some fans grew up with. The franchise even has its video games. The story follows Makanuchi Ippo, an ordinary high school student in Japan. Since he spends most of his time away from school helping his mother run the family business, he doesn't get to enjoy his younger years like most teenagers. Always a target for bullying at school. The family fishing business grants him a distinct odor. Ippo's life is one of hardship. One of these after-school bullying sessions turns Ippo's life around for the better as he is saved by a boxer named Takamura. He decides to follow in Takamura's footsteps and train to become a boxer, giving his life direction and purpose. Ippo's path to perfecting his pugilistic prowess is just beginning. Its manga is a bestseller and has won the Kadensha Manga Award. Number 7. Yuwamushi Pedal as you may tell from the pedal in the title, this sports anime focuses on biking. The main character, Sakamichi Onoda, is an otaku who is looking to make friends. Onoda has ridden his city bicycle. A fellow freshman and much more serious cyclist named Shunsuke Imaizumi notices Onoda riding his mamachari and mocks him inwardly until he sees Onoda riding up a steep hill with little effort. Another student named Naruko visits Akihabara to get some plastic Gondam models for his younger brothers and meets Onoda, who catches his attention because of his cycling skill on the Mamachari. Later on, both Naruko and Imaizumi try to convince him to join the bicycle racing club at their high school, Suhaku. The cast of characters are a fun group with a main character that is not exactly your typical sports anime protagonist. Not only are the protagonists great, but the antagonists are pretty memorable. Number 6. Ace of Diamonds Baseball is the most popular sport in Japan. So of course, this list would be a disservice without a fantastic sports anime about baseball. The popularity of baseball in Japan may explain why this show has a ton more episodes than most sports anime. The anime has 126 episodes and 5 OVAs. That's a lot of baseball. Agent Sawamura is a baseball fan who's a lefty pitcher, but he's a bit of an oddball even when talking about lefties. He has a very bizarre moving pitch that's impossible to catch. Scouted by the powerhouse of a school Sato to play baseball, Ace of Diamond follows Agent and the members of the Sato baseball team as they attempt to go to the Nationals or Koshin. The animation is great and has Shonen-like vibe. For example, 
Sometimes the characters get red-colored and blue-colored demon eyes when they are fired up. A lot of fans say the sound effects are the best, and they get chills at the sound of the bat hitting the ball. Also, the cast of characters are incredibly loved by the anime's dedicated fans. Number 5. Captain Tsubasa Created as a manga series in 1981, Captain Tsubasa has been through a lot. Its manga is ongoing and its anime series from the 80s has over 100 episodes. It got many films and OVAs afterwards and then had more anime series in the 90s, 2000s and most recently from 2018 to 2019. If you are a fan, it can keep you busy. Tsubasa Ozora is an 11-year-old elementary school student who is deeply in love with football and dreams of one day winning the FIFA World Cup for Japan. He lives together with his mother in Japan while his father is a seafaring captain who travels around the world. Tsubasa is known as the Sucker no Mushigo, which translates as Heaven Sent Child of Football. When he was only barely a year old, he was almost run over by a rushing bus while playing with the ball. However, Tsubasa held the ball in front of him, which served as a cushion for most of the impact. The force of the bump blew him away, but he was able to right himself with the ball. Hence, Tsubasa's motto, the ball is my friend. Ever since he was little, he always went out with the ball. His mother concludes that he was indeed born to only play football. At a very young age, Tsubasa already had amazing speed, stamina, dribbling skills, and shot power. He astounded anyone who saw him play. Number 4. Big Wind-Up This 25-episode sports anime aired in 2007, but is still remembered for being a great show. It is all about baseball. Baseball sports anime would be on here as baseball is the most popular sport in Japan. What makes this show shine is the original manga made by Higuchi Asa and they have a degree in sports psychology. They put the degree to use for the story and the personalities of the characters with the struggles they have to overcome. The series set in Saitama follows the story of Ren Mihashi. Mihashi was the previous ace pitcher in his middle school's baseball team, but it seems that he only got the position because his grandfather was the owner of the school. His teammates hated him and they always lost their games. Mihashi is thoroughly convinced that he is a lousy baseball pitcher and feels guilty because he believes that he is responsible for all the losses. Mihashi graduates through middle school with extremely low self-esteem. But in truth, Mihashi is a hardworking and skillful pitcher, and the main reason why his team always lost all the games is because of bad cooperation, because his teammates never talked about the game with him, and they did not try to come up with a plan or strategy to fight against their rivals. Mihashi then transfers to Nishura High School with plans of quitting baseball because he thinks he is not good enough to succeed at it, though he still loves the game deeply. However, he is dragged into Nishura's baseball team by their coach Momoe while watching the team training outside the field. Assisted by his new teammates, he grows in stature, confidence, and skill, helping his team excel with his abilities. I got it. Number 3 Free Iwatobi Swim Club Free is an anime that was partly popular due to its fan service. It was targeted towards those who want to see a lot of pretty boys swimming and glitter in the water. That was what was expected, but it surprised the anime community by gaining audiences that enjoy the anime outside of its fan service. The series follows the trials and tribulations of the Iwatobi High Swim Club, which consists of longtime friends Haru, Makoto, Nagisa, and newcomer Rei as they prepare for an upcoming swimming competition. When an old friend returns to Japan after spending a few years studying abroad in Australia, the team finds their tenuous space disrupted. Of course, there is plenty of swimming to placate the die-hard sports fans, but much more time is spent delving into the individual motivations of Haru, Makuto, Nagisa, Rei, and of course, Rin. We get to see the intimate details of their relationships with one another and how those individual character dynamics affect their effectiveness as a team. Haru, Makuto, Nagisa, and Rin were childhood friends. They have established relationships, so their interactions tend to be much more emotionally charged than their interactions with Rei or Guo. The art is beautiful and makes you want to go swimming. Swimming has never looked more fun and refreshing. Like Haikyuu, one of its pros are the relationships between the characters. We won't spoil the ending, but the way their relationships develop get pretty juicy. Number 2. Kuruko's Basketball The Taiko Middle School basketball team, the school that produced three perfect seasons in a row with five once-in-a-generation players called the Generation of Miracles. There was another player who all of them respected, a legendary sixth player. An up-and-coming power player Taiga Kagami is just back from America. When he comes to Seirin High School, he meets the super-ordinary boy Tetsuya Kuruko. Kagami is shocked to find that Kuruko isn't good at basketball. He's bad, and he's so plain that he's impossible to see. But Kuruko's plainness lets him pass the ball around without the other team noticing him. And he's none other than the sixth member of the Miracle Generation. Kuruko makes a pact with Kagami to defeat the other members of the Miracle Generation 
who have all played basketball at other schools. A battle of light, Kagami and Shadow Kuruko begins. This is another longer sports anime consisting of 75 episodes that ran from 2012 to 2015. The focus is basketball and the show is known for its smooth animation with very intense basketball moves. For fans, the episodes go by very fast and they'll find that they suddenly stayed up till 3am watching over 10 episodes. Others have noted that they have gotten adrenaline rushes anytime their favorite character is victorious. Some fans note that the show is unrealistic in terms of sports, but that's part of what makes it fun and interesting. Like others on this list, the show is not a good people win every time story. So there is a lot of struggle, drama, and the successes feel all the more real and rewarding for the characters. Number 1. IQ. Even if you have not watched this show, you have probably heard or have seen it around if you are into anime. It is very popular. In not to show you, a short middle school student gained a sudden love of volleyball after watching a national championship match on TV. Determined to become like the championship star player, a short boy nicknamed The Small Giant, Shouyu joined his school's volleyball club. Unfortunately, he was the only member and the club didn't have so much as a place to practice. He didn't let that deter him, however, and upon finally acquiring five other players in his final year, was able to compete in an actual competition. Only for his team to be unlucky enough to face the championship favorite and its star player Kagiyama Tobio called the king of the court in the first round. Though Shouyu's team suffers a crushing defeat, he vows to become better and eventually surpass Kagiyama. Now Shoyu is starting his first year in high school, the one he had first watched in the national championships. He's going to join the volleyball team, practice constantly, and wipe the floor with Kagiyama the next time they meet on the court. Or at least that's what Shoyu had planned, until he discovers that he and Kagiyama are now in the same school. The volleyball team needs their skills, but only if they can stop bickering and learn to work together as teammates. The sport that the show revolves around is volleyball. But you do not have to be a fan of the sport to love the anime. Fans love the show for the way the characters develop and how their relationships change since they are friends, teammates, and students who are in different school years. Some sports anime focus merely on an individual with their skills, but Haikyuu is all about communication with a team. There you go guys, our top sports anime that fills our energetic moods in life. What do you think about the sports that Japanese culture presents to its fans? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to share our video. Smash the subscribe button. Click the notification bell. See you in the next video.